welcome back to the channel guys me and the good lady are on a camp out I bought me bushcraft Spain gear traditional gear oil skin tart wool blanket I'm trying to keep it uh, keep it nice and traditional I love sleeping underneath this diamond shape it's great you're undercover but yet you're outdoors so I'll have a beautiful comfortable night tonight beautiful view in front of me I'm gonna have a cook up it's gonna be a nice time spending time in nature the uh, the old traditional stuff and mrs. B's bought her DD pyramid tent she's setting up all her gear she's got that great collapsible chair they're really good they're really lightweight fold down small and, and you've got a great chair to sit in so this is my wall blanket set up it's the king size merino wall and I camped in this down to about minus two with a few clothes on and it's it's lovely and warm and at the ends I've clipped it all up so as your feet are contained in the foot box area so there's no drafts I think the key to a, using a wall blanket is to keep as much hot air in as possible so try and seal it up as best you can so when you turn over you're not letting any cold air in and what with this plough point setup, which is one of my favourite setups for sleeping under a tarp outdoors. So easy to do and such a nice configuration when you're sitting underneath. And then if the weather turns, you can just get right in the back of the tarp and you're under cover. It's a lovely way to camp. And you haven't tried this configuration, then definitely give it a go. Just peg the back down, make a diamond shape with the tarp get yourself a, a pole mine's just over six foot and then a line to support the pole down to a pegging point in the ground or another tree and let's go over and see mrs. B's set up what have you got to say about your DD tent then mrs. B uh, <clears throat> I like the built-in ground sheet like the fly net single pole as well isn't it yep lightweight yeah few days of warm weather and everything on the ground is beautiful and dry so I'm getting a selection of birch, some smaller pieces and larger pieces and I'm going to get some little chunks of wood, split them up and we'll have a nice fire later. Perfect in this little bush box from Petromax, just load it all up. It's a good size, it's really portable and it really kicks out the heat just concentrated in one area and it's uh, really fuel efficient that's what I like about it
light edge. Lovely. Cheers, guys. Fish and chips. Oh, I don't get better than this. Good night, Mrs. B. Good night, Morning, guys. Just listening to the sounds of that cuckoo. Beautiful morning to wake up to. Slept like a log, wool blanket kept me warm. So if you've never tried a wool blanket before, give that a go. Lovely, really cozy in there. So I made a couple of cups of tea and me and Mrs. B are sitting enjoying the sounds of nature. Thanks for watching the video guys, had a wonderful time with my missus, great overnighter and obviously Buster as well, we've all had an awesome time. The next video I do will be my loadout, I've bought all my stuff out of my bag so I'm going to go through all the bits and pieces that I put in my canvas bag that I use when I use the traditional gear. So I'm going to sign off this video. Don't forget, enjoy the great outdoors and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers guys.